If you're struggling to build a frequently asked question section for your website, if you're using Try Themes, I'm quickly going to show you how to set one up so that you can just put all the pieces together and it's relatively very simple to implement. So once you have Try Architect open, what you want to do is once you have your theme in place, you want to click on the add element icon and then you want to click on the block icon here and then drag it over to a particular area of the page. And what it'll do is it'll open up this window and to add in your FAQ section with the options that are available you just highlight the FAQ tab on the side and what it's going to do is give you a list of all of the available templates that you can use on your page so in this case I have this one here selected so you just click on the one that you want and it will add it in and as you can see here it has it all displayed now you can change out the images change out the titles and the text but what do you do now when you want to add in the questions and the answers so you you can highlight anything and as you can see it will pop up and generate all of the information but in order to edit it what you need to do is you can't just click on it straight away from the main window here so you need to do a few alternative methods in order to get it to work so what you want to do is when you highlight one of the fields that are available you want to come over to the tab on the side and where it says toggles you'll see that for each of these tabs there's three of them here so if there's only one there'll be one but in this case there's three so you'll see here each one you can add in the title and that that'll change it so what we're going to quickly do is we're going to add in the titles here so that you can see them so in this case I'm just going to add in the question so you're just going to copy and paste it if you have a Google Doc ready or if you want to type it in yourself you can do that then you're just going to come back and you're going to click on the edit icon here and you're just going to paste in your question click apply and that is going to add it in to the headline but in order to edit the text that's beneath it in the drop down menu you can't edit it from the main page here so what you need to do is come up to the button here where it says edit toggle items so once you click on that you highlight the fields that you want to edit and here you can even alter the text if you want to do it that way but in order to change the text that's in the expanded boxes what you need to do is come over to these four green buttons that appear on the highlighted tab you want to click expand and then from here the box will be open and now you can edit your text so it's just a simple case of either typing in whatever text you want or if you have a Google Doc just come in copy and paste the text itself highlight everything and then paste it in and you're good to go so then when you're ready you just click on done and then you just make sure that you save your work so now when you preview what you've just created you just click on it and as you can see now the question is at the top and the answer is populated in the drop down menu so you can continue to do this for all the subsequent options and it's relatively simple to do so I really hope that that helps you and that it simplifies the process of how to set up FAQ sections using Tribe Architect and if you'd like to see more videos on other ideas and tutorials behind using the tools inside of the Tribe suite be sure to check out this playlist above here on the screen to learn more so be sure to check them out and i will see you all over the next one